Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had explored a little further, and we stumbled upon a disc that would show us towards Soul. The Soul system, apparently right over here, we will explore momentarily when we get there. I did a couple of things. Uh, one, I realized our places to live in uh, <laughs> in Felon Day was starting to run a little closer than I wanted. So I am taking one of the mining districts and turning it into a city district, as you see there. And another thing I did, you may see that the planet symbol on Astinda is now blue instead of green. I have set forward the terraforming of Astinda. And as you will see here, it only just started. Oops, if I select the right thing. There we go. It has only just started. And it will be a... There we go. It will become a continental world in 1800 days. In a short few years, this planet will be perfectly capable of taking our colonization people and we start a new colony. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right. <laughs> oh, anyway. Onward we go. Ooh. There was an encounter in Swore. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Swir system. These strange objects have been flagged as new aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 oh! How about that? We might have met our first civilization, finally. Our first proper civilization on par with us. Might have finally happened, guys. <laughs> might have finally happened. <laughs> oh, wow. All it took was like 12 episodes. <laughs> Ruined capital. As per the ISS Emissary crew's initial suspicions, Ruinous Core appears to be the fallen capital of the spacefaring society whose former colonies are now but irradiated scrap heaps on inhospitable tomb worlds. From the data the team has gathered, the downfall of this lost civilization was almost certainly the result of interstellar warf warfare. <laughs> interstellar warfare waged against some unknown external threat. It remains unclear whether the planet's owners repelled the invasion, but succumbed to the post-war fallout of a Pyrrhic victory, or if the invaders had crushed these colonies and their inhabitants before moving on. As the extreme state of ruin on the planet precludes the extraction of data from any remaining electronics, and neither the capital nor the, its colonies possess any survivors, it seems we may never know for certain. Unfortunate. The Numistic Order. Hmm. Ah, the felons. Finally, the winds of fortune have brought us to your bountiful lands. We are the Numistic Order, faithful servants of the goddess Numa. We have come to offer you her blessed wares. Our fleets travel the divine currents of cosmic energy, wherever the winds of fortune take us, bringing new deals every time we enter your lands. For a modest donation, the wonders of the universe could be yours. All trans transactions and credits, please. Fair enough. Greetings! 
Come, felons, drink from the numistic well of wealth, and thirst no more. Show us your wares. Numistic data modeling. Hmm. You would get that technology only for like 3,500 credits, which we do have. Patterns in the energy flow. They are everywhere, yet no one sees. Numa alone can predict the divine ebb and flow of the stock market. And for a small donation, we will share some of her wisdom with you. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. I did that a little too well. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mm, okay. Uh, deal. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Blessings upon you, felons, for your business brings us closer to the goddess. Ra. Whatever you say, Lobuck. Whatever you say. Okay. Hey! Break on through to the other side. We researched a rare technology. Technically, we were given it, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, I earned an achievement through Game Pass. Woo! Numistic data modeling. Are the precognitive powers of Numa at work, or is it a matter of skilled craftsmanship? Either way, this galactic stock market prediction model will forecast fluctuations in the economy with divine accuracy. We get more energy credits from jobs. Hey! We basically get it be able to pay it back. Slowly. But surely, it'll pay us back. Nice. Alright. Onward we go. But that wasn't the ship we were investigating. That's a different thing entirely. Hmm. That was a different event entirely. Oh, there they are. There's the new Mystic Order. Pirate Treasure. Hey, that pays us back for the <laughs> expenditure we just made, too. I'll take it. This asteroid appears to have been used intermittently as a base by a hand of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. It, consistent, it consisted largely of stolen trinkets, trinkets and artifacts, but some of it still appears to be of value. These ill-gotten gains shall serve the state! Yeah, that, I'm, I'm doing this a little too well. <laughs> I'm getting a little too into this. <laughs> Just a little. System reconnaissance completed. That's Construction fine. complete. It's fine, it's fine. All right. System reconnaissance completed. This ship will even come back. Or something like that. I don't know. All I know... Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. Explorer! Survey one of each basic planet class. I thought it had something to do with the communications established. That might still happen, though. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Pelimus Syndicate. Pelissimus, rather. Pelissimus Syndicate. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. Motherfucker, you have a pumpkin head. <laughs> you have a pumpkin for a head, my man. <laughs> Criminal syndicate. <laughs> wow, okay. I bring greetings from Oligarch Petals of Honeydew, the undisputed ruler of the Pelissimus Syndicate. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. Buddy, you are peaceful and materialistic. 
you will embrace the better good eventually. Ah ho 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 boy. They are big. They are big. But they do not extend to soul yet. That's good. That's a good thing. That still gives us the opportunity to explore soul. Which I'm fine with that. Uh-oh. I only just realized this guy's not doing anything. Uh-oh. Need to work on that. Then have him work on that after that. That's good. Uh, oh. Didn't know you were you weren't doing anything. Okay. Um, let's have you explore this away. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Go this route. And there. Can it go here? Yes, it can. Cool. And... Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Well. Wowzers. Um, I need to get... <laughs> I need to get them over there pronto. Jesus. Um, you know what? Belay all of that, buddy. We're going to have you building an outpost over here. Real quick. Just real quick, bud. Just real quick. Kind of necessary. I need to cut off any expanse this way they might be planning on doing. But, uh, from here... We'll just explore the places they haven't gone yet. Until they kick me out. Which, I mean, it's always a possibility. Let's, let's look at how they are. They don't like our bombardment policy, but that's overridden by our xenophile diplomacy. So, currently we're sitting at zero. Could be worse. Could be worse. Peaceful traders are chiefly concerned with the flow of commerce and prefer trading to fighting. Well... Hmm... We're listening. No matter how high we rise or how low we fall, others will always have something new to offer. Well, you're not exactly wrong. Um, just to be nice, I guess, let's offer minerals out of our monthly total that we do. Let's offer 14. Let's do it for a length of... 30 years, but in exchange, we want alloys. Ooh. For five, I might need to pony up a little more. How about 19? That seems good to me. It seems fine to me. I don't see why not. Yeah, should be good. Valued client, we are doing our utmost to evaluate your request. Oh. Mutual understanding. Successfully negotiate a trade deal. None of the best things in life are free, felons. But here at Polysimus Syndicate, they're cheap. <laughs> Wow, okay. Offer trade deal. Is that your final offer, felons? How about some extra mil minerals to sweeten the deal? No, we'll take it. <laughs> they were trying. They were trying so hard. But they're going to get what they get. This is me being nice to them. For now. Anomaly found. 47112 has been partially hollowed out 
and carved with exquisite precision. There is something familiar about the lines and curves etched into the rock. Is there now? Interesting. System reconnaissance completed. Hmm. Alien Specimen Procurement. Okay. The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Felon Day has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full resources, resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. We will gather these specimens. New sit rep. All right. Whoops, that was the wrong thing. Alien procurement. Yes. Look for all of those things. Where are they all? Ow. Well, they're relatively within reach. I'll say that. Okay. Well, after our science ship is done finding its way towards Seoul, we'll have that work on that next. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Give me just a second. My throat's acting up a little bit. I need to try and figure it out real quick. One moment. Sorry about that. It was something stuck in, like, the back of my throat. It was bleh, not fun. But, uh, I'm okay now. Alrighty. We'll continue onwards. Oh. Apparently. Ah. Huh. Yeah, their fleet isn't that big. At least not what I'm seeing of it. Anyway. There we go. Whoa. A familiar shrine. Most of the asteroid has been laser chiseled with great precision into the likeness of a small felon temple or a large shrine. A shrine to the untold. The great destroyer deity of old Felinian faiths. The temple has been tumbling through the quiet of space for far longer than we have been capable of space flight, which is disturbing at best, terrifying at worst. Naturally, Science Officer Pranav Kuti urges us to search for more stellar objects that match the characteristics of this space temple and has uploaded a list of likely candidates and nearby systems to the situation log. Then a look and we shall go. New sit rep. Shrines to the old gods. Now at this point, I don't know which ones are uh, <laughs> which ones are the uh, <laughs> things we're uh, looking for for uh, the zoo or looking for for this mission. Quite frankly, doesn't matter. We'll do them all anyway. So onward we go. I might need more construction ships at this rate. Now I think about it. Construction ship. Construction complete. Yep. Oh. Speaking of. Got done there. Good. Then you build that. Move you to then do that. And then we'll deal with it once you're done. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Building that system Wistral. reconnaissance Good. completed. Hmm. Construction Yay! complete. That's completed. Nice. Nice. And Construction complete. What shall they do? I guess 
can have this one, the ISS developer, go up here and do this stuff, which I planned on doing anyway. So, Atlas has a lot of those planets. Crumbling Burrow, Silent Colony, and Decayed Hub. And Ruinous Core, and Lost Encampment, is here. It's just normal. It's just Fallen Outpost. Okay. You're done with Whist Roll? Good. Build a mining station, then move on to the next one. Quickly now! Quickly! Son of a bitch, they took Swir. Son of a bitch! I was hoping they would leave it alone. Oh! Some sort of alien vessels in the Iram system. These strange objects have been flagged as pie aliens until we know more about them. Okay. Pie aliens. Said Iram. It's not there. It's not there. Where are we at for Iram to be? Huh? Huh. There's another Sign galaxy nearby. Oh. Oh. That ain't good. We have detected some kind of utterly massive space installation drifting quietly at the edge of the Ruthari system. Although preliminary scans show it to be very old, the structure has an intense power signature. Several smaller structures can be seen floating near the main installation, and all of them appear to be heavily armed. If we are to learn the true nature of this ancient relic, we will likely have to overpower its defenses through force of arms. Taking it definitely will not action. be seen. Oh, no! Scientist Fritz Brinkman died when ISS Emissary was destroyed. Oh no, Fritz. We are receiving a transmission from the United Nations of Earth. They appear to have successfully translated our language. And they're a representative democracy. They survived. They survived. They survived. <laughs> yes. <sighs> With the United Nations of Earth. Greetings from the United Nations of Earth. We are a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens, regardless of their species. Our elected leader, President, blank, hopes for a long and fruitful relationship with your people. Together we can achieve greatness, humans. As fellow star explorers, we salute you. They managed to. They managed to System spread out from Seoul. Completed. <sighs> Fritz Brinkman. God damn. It was an honor. was the newest science ship, I think. Yeah.
It's been an honor, Fritz Brinkman. United Nations of Earth. <sighs> the last time I had uh, the coordinates for Seoul suddenly hit our, one of our ships uh, was my main playthrough that I do on my off time. Seoul was a tomb world when I got to it. It was absolutely destroyed. Apparently had been destroyed by ourselves in a nuclear war that we started and eventually finished. So basically, uh, in my playthrough, it went the way of Fallout. <laughs> basically. This playthrough, Earth and humans are thriving and surviving. I love to see it. All right. Anyway. Onward we go. And trying to expand it so that way we cut the uh, syndicate off from going this further. This way, anyway. I swear, I read that as soap. <laughs> Once they're done there, they will uh, start exploring these little things here. Uh, yeah, they're just going to head to Seoul so we can Construction complete that bit. Continue here. And then. Anomaly go. found. Hey! Pranav Kuti has now received the resilient trait. Nice. A small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible. Oh, yeah, this is similar to the last one. Okay, cool. Cool! Might get something good out of it. You might phrase. Empire Felinae. Space Corps reports enemy oh. contact. No. The birth of space piracy. Naval intelligence has reported several attacks on civilian shipping in our space within the last several months. The perpetrators appear to be deserters and other renegade elements from Felinae. These criminals have put together a makeshift space fleet out of heavily modified civilian hulls and are preying on our vulnerable trade routes in the Gorilla system. In the Gaolia system, rather. I thought there was an R in there. There is not. They now call themselves the Death Pact. Although crude, their vessels are a clear threat that cannot be ignored. Fucking metal as fuck name, man. <laughs> the fucking Death Pact. Fucking metal. God damn. That is metal as shit. <laughs> I love it. Could we steal their name? Could we... Could we... Could we... No? Okay. Alright. Fine. The Death Pact. <laughs> Alright. Well. We'll send in the fleet. Mop them up. There we go. Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. System reconnaissance completed. Construction complete. Nice. Now we move on to... 
mining station, research station, and whoopsie doodle. Then we make the star base. Good. There we go. It's finally ended the coordinates event chain. We have finally reached the system of soul, a destination some being went to great pains to communicate through a very primitive medium. The plaque's point of origin is seemingly the third rock from the sun, which should be a continental planet. You shouted into the void, and we came. They're the Tau aliens. We ran into the Tau aliens? Okay, that's weird. A large portion of asteroid ZR6759 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by the previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, however, and much could be potentially be learned by its study. Study it! Why not? The Tau aliens, huh? Oh, we'll take care of those in a second. The Tau aliens. What are... Oh! The Tau aliens. The Tianki. Okay, sorry, that was me. I'm spoiling it. Sorry. Um, they are basically big-ass space whales. You know. They are absolutely no threat to anyone. There you go. Yeah, take them out. Destroy them. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great job, fleet. Good job. Lawrence Floyd. Commendable. Lawrence Lloyd, rather. Commendable. Get back to the shipyard. Get yourself all repaired up. The ruler gained a trait. Now has an eye for talent. Antonia now has developed the eye for talent. Nice. Good to see. Good to see. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed. We were able to get all of that done within my lifetime. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Able to meet the humans. Ah, uh, that's great. Fucking amazing. All right. Anomaly found. Ooh. The Geoscape of... That is a unfortunate name. I'm just going to pronounce it... <laughs> I'm just going to pronounce it Najiro. Now. <laughs> Uh, because any other way <laughs> is really bad. You know what? Can I rename the system? Please, can I just rename the system? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can I rename the system, please? Please just rename the system. I don't care. Can I just rename the system, please? I don't care if it's not in our borders. Let me rename it. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... <laughs> Come on. Alright, alright. Zero. We'll just say zero for now. <laughs> We're gonna be able to rename it soon. <laughs> We're gonna be able to rename it soon. Uh, sh we'll just call it Nijiro. Anyway, 
Nijiro 6A is dominated by what appears from orbit to be silvery metal metallic crystals of dimensions never before seen. From orbit, they eerily resemble skyscrapers. Closer, closer study. <laughs> closer study is warranted. Alrighty. Let us continue then. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Uh, uh, what? Who died? Oh. Oh. Renata Velasco. The age of 83. You served us well. You served us well. <sighs> I guess Kiao Zhao is really the only more useful one that I can get. Or Francois Bergeron. Sorry, Kiao Zhao. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But Francois Bergeron has a spark of genius, man. I can't turn that down, man. Oh, shit. I feel bad, though. I feel bad. I really do. <laughs> Yi Gao is younger than Kiao Xiao, but has fucking military expertise as well. Oh, I don't need a military expertise. Oh, God damn it, I need sparks of genius. Give me more sparks of genius, please. Alright. Man, oh man, Renata Velasco died after finally completing his last greatest work with specialized combat computers. Uh, rather, their last greatest work. Oh, man. Oh, man. Francois, you shall take up the mantle of Velasco. And you shall work on AI-controlled colony ships, which shall increase our development speed by 50%. Oh, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Velasco. Let's rename the remembrance. It'll be a remembrance of a different kind. I think that's how we spelled it. Yeah. Velasco. <sighs> Thank you for your service. Okay. to move upwards. Alrighty. We move ever onwards. Special project complete. Yep. The space-born life forms, which the Felinian head of society research has come to refer to as Tianki, are docile creatures. Capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace, they roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will carefully, they will care, rarely, rather, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Fair enough. Good enough for me. Ooh. 
perfectly fine by me. Nanite crystal lattices. Another L-gate insight. Detailed analysis of the enormous metal metallic crystals dominating Nijiro 6A's landscape have defied all expectations. Science officer Gaston Pellissier is excited to reveal that these oversized crystals are in fact composed of trillions upon trillions of deactivated nanites. Their molecular structure matches no known empire's nanotechnology signatures, making their point of origin indeterminable. They may have been deposited on the planet by some unknown spacefarers for an unknown purpose. As far as Gaston Pellissier can tell, the nanites compiled themselves into perfectly or oriented crystalline lattices and replicated until a point at which they became deactivated. While the crystals they created do in fact resemble buildings, they are entirely uniform in composition and cannot possibly have served any such purpose. Incredible. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Nice. Robotic workers. Gotta love it. All right. Exotic gas extraction machine template system. That way the robots are actually useful. Mm. This would be the cheapest by far. But not entirely the most useful. Hmm. Huh. We'll go with exotic gas extraction for now. It'll let us exploit the resources out in space for the uh, exotic gases. That way we can at least use that, if nothing else. Pockets of exotic gases are rare and often inaccessible by conventional means. Such deposits can only be reached by using special extractor technology. Might as well. We'll move on. System reconnaissance completed. Nice. Anomaly found. Ooh. An object that reflects our sensors has been located in the Soao asteroid field near M4619. Visual observation has identified the object as polygonal in shape, but due to the lack of scanner data, Little else is known. Interesting. I have no idea what that could be. Okay. We'll immediately go there. So I can change the name of that. But I don't have to say that name constantly. Jesus. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. All right. Now that you've completed that for me, you will now continue on to research the project in that system. There's no other ones, right? Just in this reach of space. Good, 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 good. In that case, then you'll do that one, that one, this one, move to that, move to that, then do that. And then do that. And then do this. Good. Good, 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 good. That works out. It's all plotted out. Good enough for me. Okay. Now, there's a way I can buy more. Might as well try to. A puzzling polygon. It's another L-Gate Insight. That's good. The From Beyond crew has recovered the reflective polygonal object near M4619, bringing it on board for detailed study. The object's most intriguing quality is its ability to reflect most types of low-frequency energy beams directed towards it. High-frequency energy beams, however, remain unaffected, making the object's properties useless with regards to any potential fleet defense applications. Despite extensive examination, 
the From Beyond research team, has been unable to determine the function or origin of this peculiar polygon. It appears to be hollow, but it's a... I almost flubbed that word. Metalloid surface is engraved with some kind of scientific notation. Though the full meaning of this codified data eludes us, Pranav Koti believes it relates to wormhole metrics. Our research team was able to glean some fascinating insights into wormhole theory by studying these notations. Whatever purpose these object, this object was created for, however, is still a mystery. Hmm. Curious indeed. And we'll sell 5,000 of that because we don't need that much. And we'll just buy a little more alloys. And I'm going to try to reinforce the fleet as far as it'll go. Well, first I'll upgrade, then reinforce. There we go. Can't upgrade it any further. Don't have enough alloys. So that's fine. And I can make a new building. Yay! What should I do, though? I don't know. Uh, fuck. What should I make? What should I make? What should I make? What should I make? Um, robot assembly plants? I don't know about that one. How about... Why not a resource silo? Why not? I may never hit the fucking top of my resources uh, limit anytime soon, but why not? Just have it now. Why not? Okay. Close that for now. Construction complete. Ooh. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this asteroid. Okay. <laughs> Ships refitted. Yeah, I had a feeling. Be quick. There we go. And then we'll move to there. Hmm. And then we should move up and then take... Maybe? Yeah, no. This would be the far more defensible position. If we ever needed to be in a defensive position in the first place. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Governor Gaylord Jones <laughs> died at the age of 85. Thank you for your service, Gaylord Jones. Time to get. Hmm. Architectural interest. That would help. Sebastian Duval. I don't see why not. Do it. Cool. All right. So far, so good. All right. And we're over time again for this episode, so we're going to end this episode again for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally getting started on terraforming that planet. Finally finding civilizations on par with us out there in the universe. It took till uh, this episode. <laughs> which is like, I think, what? Episode 6? Episode 6. And uh, one of them is a criminal organization, and the other one is the people of Earth, finally branching out into the stars after finally getting over their petty squabbles once and for all. Took them a damn long time before that happened, but it happened for you.